Hello, this is John Delaney with Impact Group's IT department. We're going to talk today about installing the IP Communicator software telephone. To begin with, make sure that you do have a connection to Impact Group. If you're working off-site, you will need VPN services installed. Open your web browser, then navigate to publicsoftware.ighr.com. That's actually publicsw.ighr.com. You'll log in to this website using your Lotus Notes username and your password. There is sometimes a delay as you log into this website. Please be patient. It does take a little while, but the login will eventually let you uh, into the software selection page. Once you're on the software selection page, you're going to look for Cisco IP Communicator Setup. Click the button next to it. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Click Next. And then click the download link at the top. Once the download is finished, you'll click Run to start the installation program. When asked for the security approval, please say yes. The installation will continue. You select your language. Click Next. Click that you accept the license, then next. Next one more time. Install actually. All the little windows that you see flashing and popping up, those are all perfectly normal. And you click finished. In this case, we are not going to reboot the computer. Normally, I would recommend that you do so, but for this demonstration, we will not. We can close the browser window. We're done with that now. You're going to, at this time, right-click on the, the Cisco IP Communicator window. You're going to select Run as Administrator. There are going to be some configuration changes made during setup, and it requires administrator permissions. Here you pick out what devices, what sound devices on your computer you want to use for these various modes of operation. You can test the sound device by doing a play to hear the playback on that selected device. Test to see the microphone operating. You can see the little indicator there that is flashing. And finish. Okay, now the system wants you to identify the phone. You're going to click on Use This Device Name, and there will be a name that the IT department will provide you for this. And click on Use These TFTP Servers, enter address 10 0 8 20, and OK. Okay, the phone is updating locale, which means it's going to download some language-specific files. That's the download happening. The phone will reset and register. Your phone is now registered, up and running, and ready to work. A few things to look at. One adjustment for those who are using VPN, in order to avoid a very common error that occurs, you want to lock down your uh, telephone to only use the VPN adapter's address. 
So click on the audio and network and use this address and make sure that it's selected at Cisco AnyConnect. Okay that. If you work in the office or occasionally in the office, don't worry about that step. Okay, now we're going to look one more time at audio tuning. Just a quick look to see that you can get there from the menu. Now we're going to exit the phone at this point because we want to close it when it's using those administrator privileges. Now we'll just do a regular open on the file. You can also just double click that uh, icon. So now the program will open with normal user permissions. It still registers just as it did before. Now when you click that X, it says closed, but it really is deceptive. It's not really closed, it's just hiding. You see there it is in the, uh, the system notification area. You can reopen it from right there. You have several phone books, your missed calls, placed calls, received calls, a personal phone book, and the corporate phone book all right there. To finally and fully close out, just select Exit from the menu.